let's say you want to farm the thorn whip, but you're under leveled and have no upgrades. Fortunately, it's quite easy. For your spells, I recommend using Rot Breath and Swarm of Flies. For your Physic, you want the Faith Knot as well as the Hidden Cerulean Tear, uh, especially if you're going to use a Summon. For your Talismans, you're just going to want to boost your Discovery Rate with the Silver Scarab and protect yourself against the Fireballs that the Fire Prelate will launch with a Fire Resistance Talisman as well as a Ritual Shield Talisman. This should keep you from getting one shot. We're going to be starting from the Giant's Mountaintop Catacombs site of Grace. And we have two methods of farming. One that involves the use of a maxed out summon, I recommend the Dung Eater. One that doesn't use it. Uh, both of them are consistent. Both of them are not too different in terms of how long it takes. Uh, but the, depending on whether or not you have a summon, uh, you will probably use that one. Uh, here you see me firing Rot Breath. I should have fired it from a little more to the right, so I involved the mob to the right there that just gets slightly tagged. As long as it takes some damage and takes Rot, uh, which I apply like so, uh, it will not be able to follow you before it dies. And you can just wait for it to expire like so. Once you've applied Rot, you're going to want to use Swarm of Flies. The big thing to watch out for is the projectile he shoots from his head. Uh, when he goes for the eruption, that's a great opportunity to spam flies as long as you have some distance. And the goal here is to kite the fire prelate into this doorway here, where none of his melee attacks can reach you. The only attack that can reach you is as you can see here, the fireball, which you should roll to the side for. Uh, he will sometimes fire it in rapid succession, in which case you should say cover uh, uh, behind this wall here. Just keep in mind to stick to the back wall because the melee attacks can hit you through the facing wall. And like so, it's over very quickly. When you use a summon, because of the way the aggro draws, you will not be using this uh, tunnel in order to trap the prelate. Instead, uh, you will just let the summon draw the aggro while you spam it with blood flies. Overall, it's very similar. Uh, you will end up aggroing a lot more of the mobs. It's not a huge issue as long as the summon is taking care of it, which is why we want a very tanky one. Uh, here we see the proper rock breath placement, uh, where I can just nudge it over to the side. Not that it really matters because that's the one the Dung Eater is going to attack onto first. I think it has something to do with the prioritization of the um, summons. They probably attack the nearest one that you did the damage first to, uh, which the Prelate is not. But it shall aggro on eventually, and you can just spam away, like so. You have to be careful though when you do use a summon. As uh, if it gets lured over the, by the bridge, it can fall off. So you still want to kind of pull it over towards this pathway a little bit. Anyway, there's the whip. Uh, good luck to all of you out there.